Hello everyone, this is my first ever YouTube video which I'm super excited about because I've loved YouTube for years and I always have wanted to start my own channel but I never thought that I kind of knew enough or that I had the right kind of expensive things that people have for whatever but now I know you don't even need all that and I just decided to start one because I've wanted to for so long. I've also started a blog and this video is actually going to kind of pair up with that quite nicely I hope um, and it's a what's in my bag video. I love watching these because I'm just so nosy and I love seeing what bags people carry and all the rubbish that they carry around with them too. So my bag to begin with is the Zara City bag with zips I think. Um, I got the navy blue one, it does come in cream and like a deep red colour which is gorgeous but I thought that like the dark navy blue kind of black colour would go with more. Um, it's got this big kind of main pocket at the front, it's got a long strap, little kind of stands like feet on the bottom, gold hardware, lovely short kind of straps where you can carry it on like the crook of your arm and then it's got like a popper section in the middle and two zippy pockets which are just so handy. Um, yeah so let's begin. So in the popper section in the middle, I first of all I have an umbrella because it is rubbish weather in England at the moment and you always need to carry one of these around. This is one that I got with a fragrance from Marc Jacobs um, and it's just super pretty in hot pink, black, light pink and then yellow which gives it a lovely pop of colour. Um, so that's that. I have a few perfume samples in here too because my mum actually gave me these and one is the Victor and Rolf, Rolf, Rolf um, bonbon and this is super sweet and gorgeous and it's fallen out but it is in there somewhere. Um, Endless Euphoria from Calvin Klein which I haven't sprayed yet but yeah it should be nice and Dosh from Marc Jacobs which is one of my favourite perfumes ever. It's just adorable. Um, yes, yeah, so, so then I have one of my favourite products ever which I've just repurchased and it's the Lee Stafford Messed Up and you know when boys have that kind of like hair clay like for styling the hair, this is basically that but like a girl's version, I always used to buy the men's version but they actually have this and it's like a really really thick kind of cream, it doesn't fall out and I kind of get it between my fingers, um, rub it together and put it underneath my hair and it just gives it loads of volume because my I have quite thin kind of damaged hair at the moment um, and it just gives it some shape and volume. I have a plaster on by the way because um, I burnt myself on my straighteners the other day and my blister's gone all minging and gross. <laughs> um, I then have my purse which is just from Topshop. It's a little bit mucky because nothing ever clear says clean in my bag. Um, it's again gold hardware. Um, it's a really safe one because it's kind of got this extra strap um, so nothing's going to fall out. And I just have a load of kind of vouchers and coppers mainly I have boots vouchers in my bag it's quite bad but probably all out of date and pointless to have anyway at the moment um so that's that I love that purse um I then have my iPod which is just one of the new kind of iPod touches but it's quite wild actually it's just the black one you can get them in like super exciting colours but of course I got the black one because I'm boring and it has some really disgusting headphones on which you don't need to see <laughs> Um, what else is in here? My really hairy and disgusting tangle teaser because I have to have this with me like all the time um, because again my hair gets really messy and knotty and disgusting and it's always good to have a brush in your bag because I like to kind of back comb and zhuzh my hair up during the day and this is a gorgeous bright pink one which I love. Um, then there's a load of wrappers, mainly Maltese bunny wrappers because I am obsessed with these and they've stopped selling them now which is just really awful. And then in the kind of little sections, um, I have my phone. This is just the iPhone 5S. Um, not very exciting. Just my phone. And um, that is usually in my pocket, to be honest. I think I just slipped it in my bag earlier. Ooh, I have my student card, which I'm not going to show you. <laughs> um, and loads and loads of random um, pens and stuff because I take this back to college, so... Yes, and that's my perfume little bottle. I just didn't rub one. <laughs> so that's that section. That's the main section. In the zipper pockets, I literally just have kind of sheets and revision and things like that because I take this back to college. But I usually take that out when I use it kind of on a day to day basis, like not at college. And then in the front one, I think I just have the same. Um, it's great for keeping like things flat, which is why I love it for college. This is just a mock exam paper which is so exciting and interesting. 
and lovely. <laughs> anyway, so that's that kind of empty. Um, I then have for the front pocket, that's where I keep all my kind of beauty things and makeup and things because I don't carry a makeup bag around with me because I can never find one that's the right size and it always just makes your bag even heavier. So if you've got a little section, zippy pocket, it's perfect to keep your products in. So I have an awful lot in here, unfortunately. I have two bottles of hand sanitizer, which is just ridiculous. Um, I have handmade from Soap and Glory, which is lovely and smells like hand food. And the Marks and Spencer's lemon one, because I love the smell of that. I love lemons. Lovely. I then have a ridiculous amount of um, lip products. I have Tangy Bear's lip gloss in Chic, which I love. Such a pretty nudey colour. Everyone has these, especially this colour. I love it. Absolutely love it. They're not even that expensive either, and they're just the consistency of them is just perfect. They're actually quite comparable to the MAC cream cream sheens. Cream? No, that's the lipstick. Cream glasses or something like that. Um, amazing. I then have the YSL lipstick in number one, which I'm wearing a little bit of that now. I don't know the proper kind of name of this, but it just says number one on the packaging. It's just this kind of gorgeous creamy nudie pink and the consistency of these is just amazing they're super pigmented but super soft and moisturizing as well um i think i'm gonna have to buy some more of those i literally only have one because i'm such a mac lipstick girl um but that is fab and then i have the burt's bees beeswax lip balm in the peppermint one and it's just a general kind of clear lip balm which is great to put underneath lipsticks and just when your lips are feeling really dry and disgusting that's fab and then I have the Revlon Colour Burst kind of liqueur balm in Demure, I think. Yeah, 105 Demure, which is like a gorgeous, again, nudie pink, and it's got a bit of shimmer in too. These are really moisturising, actually, and just lovely. What else do I have? Some tablets, because I like literally live my life with headaches, especially at college. Awful. Um, but they're quite, quite helpful. Then the MAC Studio Fix Powder, which mine is quite battered. This is in the colour C3 and I think it's a bit dark for me, that's why it's in my handbag. But it's just lovely to touch up, it's got a lovely mirror um, and then it's just a really nice powder. It's quite heavy coverage so it really covers anything. If you get a sudden blemish, you don't need to carry some concealer around, you can just kind of put a bit of that on and it'll just kind of cover it. Also because I have oily skin, it's just great to have this to kind of blot down that minion oil. <laughs> what else do I have? Then the last thing is a little limited edition limited edition mac kind of fluffy powder brush um and this is a 167 se which is special edition i got this a few years ago in the mac christmas collection i think and then i just got this really pretty nail file so that is everything in my bag it's not empty because i've put quite a few things back but um yeah i'll just show you the bag again so this bag's about 60 pounds but i think it's so worth it because it's just beautiful and if you have a little bit of money to spend on a bag that is it's not too expensive it's not like designer but you know a bit more expensive than kind of new look or something like that but i think it's so worth it if you have a bit of money to spend on a really nice bag it fits so much in and it fits like as one of the sides kind of is kind of padded so you can keep your kind of laptop or ipad in there um, I have a review on this, of this on my blog, so if you want to know more about it, please go and check that out. I've literally got one post. Um, yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. My first ever video, it's super exciting. Please subscribe because I have no subscribers and it's really sad. Um, yeah, but I have lots of ideas for the up and coming future and I'm really excited to start. So there'll also be some vlogs coming up because I love watching vlogs and in the summer I have quite a few exciting things coming up. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.